Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we will solve one more problem related to the profession of a lawyer. So the question is on the screen and they have given certain additional information. Mr. K lives in Bangalore. He is a lawyer with the following receipts and payments. So they have given all the receipts and payments of Mr. K. They have given an additional information that one third part of the building is used for profession and two third for self residence. So he has a building, the house property, in that one third of which is used for his profession and two third is using for his personal residence. Next, the use of the car is used for profession, used for profession, professional and personal work equally. So the car equally is used for both for the purpose of profession also for the purpose of his personal work also that means half half is used for profession and half is used for personal work books purchased for teaching rupees i think it is 3000 books purchased for teaching rupees 3000 and remaining for profession so total books purchase is 1000 in that 3000 he is not used purchased for profession in that 3000 rupees is for teaching teaching is not his profession his profession is a lawyer the remaining amount is for profession i will teach you how to do this while solving the problem now according to the format first we need to add all the professional receipts so let us check the receipt side opening balance ignore salary as a part-time lecturer his profession is not giving lectures his profession is uh, an advocate so ignore this also fee received so fee received is related to his profession so 2,20,000 is the fee received next interest on bank deposits interest on a bank deposit it comes under income from other sources so we will not consider it here next examination remuneration from university that means he has gone as an examiner for uh, one of the university from there he has got the remuneration which is nowhere related to his profession so we will not consider this also so just ignore cash received on car sold so he is selling the car and he is receiving the cash so it comes under income from capital gains so car sold income from capital gains it doesn't come here uh, in this particular head of income so just ignore that also shares sold similarly here also it comes under income from uh, other sources so just ignore it in this particular head of income dividend received so dividend received comes under income from other sources so just ignore it here so next you have that's all receipt side so only fee received is your professional receipt so i will write it in the outer column two lakh twenty thousand from that you have to reduce all the professional payments for that you have to see the right side so first what they have told book purchased 1000 rupees but out of that 1000 rupees oh this is 300 only sorry out of that 1000 rupees subtract 300 rupees because total books whatever he has purchased is 1000 rupees in that 300 rupees worth book is not related to his profession it is related to teaching so that is no way related to his profession so just ignore that so subtract 300 you will get 700 rupees but since books purchase is a capital expenditure we cannot show that here so only depreciation on professional books can be showed so depreciation rate for professional books is 40% so depreciation on 40 percent depreciation 40 percent is taken into consideration so 700 into 40 percent will be 280 rupees next repairs of house since he is staying in a house in that one third of the house is used for his profession and two third is used for self residence so only one third is allowed so total repairs is 1200 but in that only one third of the house is used for his professional purpose. 
so 1200 into 1 by 3 that is 400 rupees will be his professional expenditure next car expenses so they have told in an adjustment that car is used for profession and personal purpose equally so the total car expenses is 1800 so total 800 is not completely used for his profession half of which is only used for his profession so 1800 into half that is 900 will be taken into consideration next local taxes local taxes is simply to understand it is house property tax on house property so the total local tax whatever you have paid is 1200 but you are not using the complete house for your uh, profession one third is used for as your profession so 1200 into one third will be taken into consideration next office expenses so they have told it is office expenses which is admissible so office expenses total is 300 sorry 3000 rupees so complete 3000 rupees will be taken into consideration next personal expenses so they have only told that it is personal expenses so personal expenses we will not take it to consideration so ignore that purchase of plant for office so purchasing a plant is a capital expenditure we will not consider any kind of capital expenditure here but depreciation on that can be taken into consideration so depreciation on plant and machinery according to income tax rules is 15 percent the total purchase value is 1000 1000 into 15 percent we will get 150 rupees next car purchased similarly car purchase is a capital expenditure we don't allow capital expenditure here but depreciation on that can be allowed so the rate of depreciation as per it rules for car is 15 percent so 20,000 into 15 percent but all the 15 percent we cannot allow because only half of the car is used for the purpose of profession so only that half of the depreciation will be allowed next life insurance premium life insurance premium is related to a life of a person and it is no way related to his profession so we will ignore that donations any kind of donations we will not consider gift to daughters so gift to daughters or gift to any or relatives also it is not allowed so all kinds of gift paid is not allowed so just ignore that income tax paid income to calculate how much income tax you have to pay only we are doing all these things so we will not consider that income tax appeal expenses yes income tax you would have appealed the it authorities for some clarifications and all for some consultations so those expenses 300 rupees is allowed next bank deposits so bank deposits is nowhere related to your profession so you will not consider that public provident fund deposits similarly this is also it is nowhere related to your profession so you will just ignore this also so just ignore this next by balance carried forward so balance carried forward is also uh, you should ignore because you should never consider that so just ignore balance carried forward so that's all about the professional pay payments so if you add complete professional payments you get the total value that is 6930 the total professional income was 2,000 uh, 2,20,000 from that if you subtract 6930 you get the taxable income from profession that is three uh, two lakh thirteen thousand seventy rupees this is how we need to solve the problem hope you have understood how to solve this uh, problem if you have any doubt in this particular problem you can always put your doubts in the comment box so that i'll respond to your doubts as soon as possible thank you for watching the video i'll come back with the next video